Mr. Speaker, I rise to honor the first female Supreme Court Justice, Sandra Day O'Connor, who passed away last Friday. Frequently referred to as the most powerful woman in America, Justice O'Connor, who was highly gifted and dignified, paved the way for women on the highest court in our land. Justice O'Connor knew the value of being the first. She felt a special obligation as the first woman. When she was appointed to the court by President Ronald Reagan in 1981, no woman in the court's nearly 200-year history has ever graced the bench with her intellect. Her diligence and legal mastery moved America forward, and she always knew how to find the big middle in her opinions. Since her retirement in 2006, four female Supreme Court justices have been appointed and confirmed to the bench of the highest court in our land. That is only five women in 234 years. In our nation's history, our great state of Ohio has never elected a female senator. Including myself, Ohio has only ever elected 13 female representatives. Our nation has not seen a female president yet. Women in our nation have many glass ceilings to shatter and many more firsts to go. Mr. Speaker, I honor expired. Justice O'Connor, her character, her legacy, and I honor and encourage the new first yet to come from among America's aspiring young women. Thank you. I yield back.